Here are my three touchdown score picks for Cowboys Giants. Brought to you by the Action Network app. And my first pick, I went with Jake Ferguson. I grabbed his touchdown odds at plus 270. Now, he's the true number two wide receiver in this offense. He has no touchdowns yet this year, but I love the matchup for him. He looked healthy in week three, 10 targets, 95 receiving yards versus Baltimore. And last year, he was awesome versus the Giants. He saw 14 targets in two games, scored a touchdown, and seven of those 14 targets were inside the red zone. Now, coming into this game, the Giants ranked 28th in defensive DVOA versus tight ends this year, so I like Ferguson to get his first touchdown of the season. And my next pick, we're going to go with Daniel Jones. I grabbed his touchdown odds at plus 310. Now, he's third in the NFL for all quarterbacks with eight red zone carries this year. And the Cowboys defense has just been getting shredded by the run. Eight rushing touchdowns allowed so far, two by quarterbacks. Not good at all. I expect Dimes to do a poor man's Josh Allen impression, use his legs, and negate the Cowboys pass rush because his O-line is still giving up a lot of pressure so far. And my final pick, we're going to go with a little bit of a long shot. I grabbed Wandale Robinson at plus 460. He's around plus 425 right now. I'd still take it over plus 400. Now, everyone is rightfully excited about Malik Neighbors, as they should be, but Robinson has been low-key getting a ton of volume. He's Daniel Jones' main checkdown option. He's top 15 in the NFL in total targets. He scored a touchdown in Week 2 versus the Commanders. And through three games... He's got five red zone targets, at least one in each game. So if the Cowboys make it a point to shut down neighbors, I like Wandale to score instead. So those are my three bets. We're going to go with Wandale Robinson, Daniel Jones, and Jake Ferguson, all tracked at the Action Network app. Bon chance.